So welcome to the MPD site. MPD is located about 20 kilometers upstream from Deep River on the south shore of the beautiful Ottawa River. NPD was a prototype can-do reactor. It was a pressurized heavy water reactor that produced about 22 megawatt electrical power to the grid. What's unique about NPD was not only was it the first nuclear power reactor in Canada, but it was also a training center for Ontario Hydro employees from the 60s, 70s and 80s. So the plan for decommissioning of NPD includes in situ disposal. And what that really means is we plan on taking what's left at NPD right now We'll have a chance to look at that during our tour when we go inside, which includes everything above grade and below grade. We're gonna put it all into the facility and we're going to entomb all that material in a compound called grout, which is really nothing more than a high-tech flowable concrete. When we're done, what will be left is a small mound down below me and the stack will still be here. The reason we're keeping the stack is because it's a habitat for a chimney swift, which is a protected species. We want to make sure we keep that habitat for the chimney swifts down the road. So why don't we take the time now and we'll head down, we'll go inside and take a walk around through the facility. So we've made our way down to the reactor hull. The reactor hall is located within the MPD facility itself and we're standing at or about ground level compared to the outside. Back in the day, this was the, uh, the area where they conducted their operations. Things like moving heavy water drums around, storage of material coming in, bringing new fuel into the uh, process. They would use this area to um, put spent fuel into flasks and canisters, which would be then shipped back to Chalk River. So this was also the room that provided access to the nuclear area below us. So Everything below this grade and before this floor level is what we refer to as the, the nuclear area of the facility. That's things like the fueling machine room, the boiler room, the fuel base, and we'll have a chance to take a look at those a little later on. The only way down to those rooms was through a series of shielded floor hatches, which are still in the ground here. They also had a large 25 ton crane that went back and forth to lift the floor hatches out so they could get access to below. So why don't we head from here over to the turbine hall. And there's a few things I'd like to point out over there with regards to the history of the place and what we're going to be doing with it for decommissioning. So we've made our way now into the turbine hall. And if you and I were standing here 30 years ago, what would be behind me would be the turbine and electrical generation system that was here. So this is where they turned steam into electrical power. And from here, out to the distribution center it went out to the grid itself. So below me is, the, is what we refer to as the condenser pit and that is a large empty space. All the equipment has been removed so we are going to use that to take material that is right now above grade, size reduce it, segment it, we'll put it down there, that will be grouted in place as part of the overall decommissioning strategy. So from here why don't we head downstairs to the nuclear area? And one of the key things you'll notice about being down in the nuclear area is that the majority of decommissioning of the conventional side of the station was done in the early 90s, and it's pretty well devoid of most equipment. But down in the nuclear area, everything is still there as it was back in the days of operation. Okay, so we've made our way down into the nuclear side and one of the biggest differences you'll notice down here is all of the equipment is still here. In the late 80s when they decided to shut NPD down, they uh, made a concerted effort to remove all the fuel and all the heavy water from the facility, but all the equipment stayed. So we're in what they refer to as a ventilation service space, which as you look around, you'll see is mainly made up of pipes and some ducting and some fan systems for the ventilation of the nuclear side. But one really neat thing that I want to show you is we have some access to show you where the biological shield is for the reactor vault itself. So when I was outside, we were talking about uh, NPD being the prototype CANDU reactor. What's also unique about NPD is it's the only can-do that's actually subterranean. So the reactor itself is about 40 feet below grade. The rotating end shield, which you had just seen, was an area for the operators to actually to do maintenance on the reactor itself through a shielded wall. 
When we proceed to do the grouting, this will be a room that actually is full of grout from top to bottom. So why don't we head from here and we'll go down to where some of the fueling machine operations took place. 